So what's going on guys? I seen this Holly DDG situation. They recently just announced that they broke up. Uh, these are This is a rapper and an actress that were dating for the past couple years. But I wanted to break down this video or break down this relationship because it just, people are calling and shaming DDG for, you know, breaking up with her after he just had a kid. And to a degree, I understand what they're saying. Hey, you know, you, you've been with this woman two years, you're going raw inside of her, you had a kid with her. Now you want to break up if you wanted to break up and all this stuff. Why were you guys going raw and all this stuff? But in my estimation, from what I think is going on, from just reading the actions and not what's being said, but reading in between the lines, I'm going to tell you guys what I think why DDG broke up with Holly. And it stems from a particular video, but we're going to get to that in a second. From what I've read, she hasn't really commented too much on it, which means she's pretty heartbroke about it. She really loved this dude, this rapper. And I mean, you know, Holly seems like a one of those good women that you never would think would date a bad boy. But, you know, this is this is a stereotype in the black community. If you look like a rapper, you act like a rapper, you're going to get the majority of black women, even if they work in corporate, even if they're lawyers. Right, if you come through looking like King Von, you're gonna get a black woman. You're gonna get all the black women. So this is not a secret. This is not anything new. This is what the community has become. We champion this kind of behavior. We champion this kind of stuff in popular culture. If you wanna get a black woman, you have to act and pretend as if you are a rapper or you're a hood dude or talk the slang. Even though in real life, you look, you look and sound like an idiot. Um, but to black women, you're hot when you do this stuff. But anyway, 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 anyway. So what is my hypothesis as to why this relationship ended? So I found something interesting. And guess who was involved in this incident? Usher. Usher. Usher, Usher. I mean, guys, if you guys are taking your women to go see Usher, do not be shocked when he dances with her, try to put some fruit in her mouth. No matter what, well, I don't know what Usher be doing, but he be pulling y'all's girls easy. And he like 40 something. And, you know, he, he was with Diddy and all kinds of stuff. So people don't care. So, Usher has been breaking up relationships left and right this past few years. And I think he broke up this relationship. And I don't think he deliberately wanted to, but Usher, you know, he's married, but really, I mean, he's a celebrity, right? These people cheat all the time. That doesn't mean anything. You're a celebrity, it doesn't. It doesn't. That's just for appearance sake for you to get better sponsorships and all this kinds of stuff. So I come across this video and DDG, like an idiot, he takes his girl to the Usher concert. Not only does he take her to the Usher concert, but he literally has front row stand up seats where you can literally grab up and grab Usher's shoes or his, his jeans or whatnot. They're that close. And in this video, in particular, um, Usher tries to put a cherry in Holly's mouth. Now, Usher knows who Diddy, I, I'm, I think he knows who Diddy G is, this rapper, and I think he knows who Holly is. And so I think Usher be having ulterior motives with these trying to break up, trying to uh, purposely break up relationships because I don't see a lot of single women he does this with. He always is in the news with um, 
women that are in relationships. And yeah, I had something else I wanted to say about that. But anyway, DDG like an idiot. He brings his girl up and they're sitting up close. And he has a cherry and he's trying to put it in this woman's mouth. This is what I was about to say. It's starting to make sense why Usher allegedly, allegedly, Chris Brown allegedly jumped Usher because he's doing some foul stuff with when it comes to women and their uh, their husbands and doing it in front of their husbands or do, knowingly knowing they have a husband, all this kind of stuff. And I can't really blame Usher, right? I mean, your woman needs to be, have some decency. And this that's going to play key in just a second. So Usher has this cherry, man. He's trying to put this cherry in Holly's mouth. And DDG, like a, what he's supposed to, he plays it off smooth, kind of funny. He grabs the cherry and, and puts it in her mouth. At that moment, DDG realized something about female nature that people have been talking about in dating for forever. Hypergamy is a mofo. If she sees a bigger and better choice, if she sees Usher makes more money than DDG, he's probably, depending on who you ask, Usher's more attractive, more talented, more famous. And so whenever he's seen his girl with her mouth wide open, embracing this cherry coming from Usher, he was like, the, the, the light bulb went off in his head. He's like, this ain't my, this ain't my woman. She's for the streets. Now, granted, he calculated that probably a little too late because I think this was a couple weeks ago and the baby was already born. He kind of calculated this stuff a little bit too late. But I guarantee you, DDG broke up with Holly because he realized that is not his woman. Somebody else, another celebrity, is capable of taking his woman from him. And that's why I think he broke up that relationship. Guys, we're going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it. We're going to keep saying it. Um, women today don't care about marriage. There's no shame in body count. There's no shame in the way they dress. Women are going to do what they want to do and what they want to do does not involve long-term relationships does not involve loyalty to you does not uh, mean submitting to you submitting to your leadership leaving your goals having a family getting married all those things are irrelevant to her now she'll want those things when she's 35 40 she hits the wall has two three kids now she wants to settle down right when she's the least desirable when she's been ran through and she's had a couple kids pass through her, you know what? This is what the relation stuff, relationship in modern dating is. And I'm not saying you guys can't find long-term relationships, but what I am saying is if you do, you better cross out that woman for a period of time because they were together two years and she did this like a month ago and she showed her true colors. Now, granted, I think DDG was in denial because I'm pretty sure she probably showed some other stuff before and he kind of just ignored it. But this was the final straw. And so guys, relationships are a mug today. Dealing with these modern women are a mug today. I mean, if you ain't just trying to smash them and shh, 
the quality of woman is scarce in today's society. Trying to find a loyal woman that's going to love you for you, not show her body to the world, that's going to listen to you and your direction. Those women are scarce, guys. And this is just another tale to show you to be careful of the women that you're selecting because Holly looked like a decent woman, but yet her nature kicked in, female nature kicked in when another higher prize male walked into the room. She has her mouth wide open trying to get eat a cherry that he's trying to feed her. If it can happen to DDG, you know damn well it can happen to you. That's my video. You guys like, comment, subscribe, share the beef, like the video on the way out. And I will see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.